All right, it's morning time, 6 a.m. Um, got up a little before that. I'm trying to get going and get headed towards Heflin. Need to try to make at least two and a half miles an hour today, so I'm going to try and get everything taken down. It rained all night long. It's still raining. So I'm just going to have to pack everything up wet and should be home tonight anyway, so I'll just have to dry it out of the house. But it's the plan. I'm going to start deflating sleep stuff and then I'm gonna get everything out of here that I can except for the tent and then uh, get the tent rolled up and packed in its bag and then I'm gonna uh, just take some food and stick it in my pockets and eat on the go so that is the plan I'll keep you up to date all right so we're on our way um, I think I left right around 8 got everything tore down ate a little bit put some food that needed to warm up in my shirt pockets and head it out mix my shake it's uh cold soaking back there so i'll we'll walk for a little ways maybe drink some um but trying to get to have fun like i said this morning um had a pretty good night didn't sleep great but i feel plenty rested i just you know i wish i could get out here and actually sleep through the night without waking up that's what now wake up a lot so other than that, it was good. A lot of condensation in the tent, but I did have it battened down because of the rain. So, yeah, you, something you got to deal with on the single wall. So, um, head towards Heflin. I'll stop at some point and eat some snacks and stuff if I see anything interesting along the way. I will let you guys check that out. So, all right, I'll keep you up to date and see you in a little bit. All right, still trucking along. We've done about, I think, three miles or so. Uh, correction to earlier, I left camp right after seven, not eight. Definitely did not want to leave after eight. I almost wish I had left at six, but it was still, oh, it might not have been raining. It may have just been trees dropping water, but just got signal a minute ago. Checked my texts, had some texts from my wife and kids, and they told me that the high today is close to 40, so when I got signal, I went ahead and checked the weather. And now it's supposed there's a 40 to 70 or 80 percent chance of rain most of the day today, and the high is I think 46 in Heflin. So it is what it is. We're gonna have to try and uh, do what we can do. So want to get to Heflin today, regardless of uh, rain or not. So I'm in a weird spot though, temperature-wise. Uh, getting kind of warm I'm probably gonna have to strip some layers off um, so you gotta figure out what works out here uh, this cooey's worked really well um, for layering sleeping in even wearing when it's kind of damp like this it's worked really good so I do like that it has the hood and that quarter zip helps it vent so really enjoying this piece of gear train's been pretty cruisy like this for a while which is good it's drizzling so haven't put my rain gear on it's just not that wet and it's mostly evaporating off of me putting off enough heat so but i've got it back there in case i need it because i definitely don't want to get wet and cold so i haven't taped gut hook recently but i feel like i'm making pretty good time Especially since this area is so smooth, um, I feel like I might be moving close to three miles an hour, which would be good. I'd really like to make it there in eight hours total. That'd be that would be good. So keep on pushing, and I'll keep bringing you guys along. If I find anything interesting, I'll pull you back out. But I don't know that. Sorry about that, but there's going to be too many views today with as overcast as it is so all right all right well from what i can tell at this point this was a, just another little update about progress for the day. Um, I can kind of tell from my attire at the time that it had not started raining yet, which it did end up doing for most of the rest of this day. Um, 
it's probably just a little update on how far I got my thoughts on continuing on to have fun with the spur um, I was still at this point trying to figure out if I was going to do the spur um, trying to kind of sort through how I plan on getting back to the core uh, once I got to Heflin and um, from what I can tell this is just before Hillaby Falls so I may have been at Hillaby Falls when I recorded this I'm not positive but the next picture you will see is from Hillaby Falls so just a little update I, there will be voiceover for the rest of the video portions I lost sound at this point and I'm still not sure what happened so When we got here this is right near where the tornado had come through um, I think it was Mother's Day in the early, late 2000s maybe but there was a little kiosk here that I was standing over under out of the rain uh, just trying to give an update on progress this was getting close to the end um, I think I only had a couple miles to go but it was definitely getting cold and it was very wet so I think I was still here I was probably still trying to decide whether I wanted to do 3.7 Heflin. Um, I do remember thinking that if I did that I was going to be cutting it very close um, because of my thoughts that they would probably close around 5 and uh, at this time it was probably 1 o'clock maybe uh, based on knowing that I finished right around 2. So. It's kind of what was going on here from what I recall um, I hate that the sound is missing but you know hey it is what it is and I learn something new just about every time I go out and do video or on the trail so there you go well this is the terminus and I remember being very excited when I got here and actually as I was recording this I remember actually getting kind of emotional um, about finally being finished um, at this point I had pretty much decided that I was not going to do the 3.7 into Heflin and that I was going to try and find another way either in town or to my car so I ended up going over to the ranger station at uh, right by the Forest Service 500 road here because I had heard from other people and in gut hooks both that they were very friendly which they were and they actually called town hall for me and town hall came and picked me up and brought me into town uh, I got to meet the mayor and that was a great time and uh, just as a little heads up I'll be doing a video uh, coming up about trail towns on the Penhody wall where I'll kind of tell you about what happened when I got there but this was the terminus and um, like I said I started getting kind of emotional which I wasn't actually sure that I was going to uh, to get emotional but it definitely hit me when I got there so uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll s see you next time.